How you doing? I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and I want to welcome you to the next installment of the recipe cooking series here that I'm a little mini series I'm putting together. I did a map reading challenge this year and I uh, had a bunch of guys out. And this guy actually was the winner of the hunting portion of the map reading challenge. I will link his hunting video to the description section of this video in case you want to check that out. But this is Eric Arquette sharing one of his favorite recipes with us and a delicious meal. I really encourage you to try it out if you're interested. Let's check in with Eric. Hey guys, this is uh, step one of making my barbecue pulled venison. This is what's going to be going in the crock pot. Taste test. Oh yeah. Usually I would do this with a whole roast but I was kind of limited with what I had so I did a very small roast and then some other pieces of steak I had and I've made pulled pork with this recipe before many many times and it's always been a success so this is the first time I'm doing it with venison and I'm sure it's going to be just as good basically just coating all the meat, getting that rub incorporated into it. Now we wait. I took the pork, uh, took the venison out, and I pulled it apart. And then that is going to be the base for the barbecue sauce that I'm going to finish tomorrow. So I already transferred 
the base of the barbecue sauce into this pan. And I'm basically just going to use an emulsifier to, to blend it up. You could put it in a blender if you'd like, um, but I just use this. And I'm going to have to actually do a taste test with this because I usually do it with pork and it definitely came out a little different um, in a sense for the better. So I might not have to do a whole lot to this to actually make it into a uh, more barbecue sauce. Just add some ketchup, vinegar, and Worcestershire sauce. And um, that might be it. So I'm going to start this and... Alright, so I blended it up. It's not going to be nearly as smooth as regular barbecue sauce because we got the veggies and the apples and etc. as the base. So it is going to be a little chunky. So I'm just going to add some brown sugar. It's about a half cup. Some vinegar. Some Worcestershire sauce. And some ketchup. And again, a lot of this I have to kind of modify a little bit because it usually comes out different because of all the fat from the pork. But I modify a lot of the stuff as I go anyway, so it should be pretty good. So now that we got all that in there. We're just going to give it a, a good mix. And I'm going to put it on medium for about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. And then do a little taste test afterwards. And then put it on simmer. Alright. Alright guys. So, I kind of forgot to mention something. You do want to occasionally stir this so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. Um, and I also did lower it to low medium. Obviously certain uh, stoves are different but you know I would say that would be a basis and uh, put a lid on it or a screen so if it does start boiling or bubbling it doesn't go all over the place. Alright so this is done. You can kind of cook it until you get the consistency you want, but I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to add my venison. And you definitely don't have to add all the sauce or any at all, you can just add it after when you're about to eat it on your sandwich or however you want to do it. I typically do a sandwich. So I got my little toasted bun here. Do a little sample. That's good. Sweet, spicy. Can't wait for everyone to try it. Hope you like it guys. Well, Eric, thanks so much for sharing the meal with us. It was awesome, and uh, thank you for watching. All right, venison chili is on the next video that's coming up, and it's made by Jerry, Eric's teammate. So stay tuned for that. Until then, take care, and God bless.